Okay, the area of a sector is given by the formula the measure of the arc over 360 times pi r squared. So what we're doing is we're finding first the area of the circle here. And then we're going to multiply it by the fraction of the circle that we're referring to. So what is the size of that slice of pizza? Because that's the fraction of the circle we're given. So in this diagram, we have angle A, P, B. And if let's give a 120 degree angle to APB, and we're going to try to find the sector area. So let's shade that in. So you can see we're finding the area of that slice. The measure of the arc is the same as a central angle. So we would plug in 120 as our angle. So in this case, we would have 120 over 360. So that represents one-third of the area of the circle. So all we're going to do is find the area of the circle and then multiply it by the fraction of the circle that we're taking. So in this case, we would find the area of the whole circle and then take a third of it, multiply by one-third or divide it by three, and we would have the area of just that part, which is called the sector. Okay, so let's try a couple examples here. Find the area of the sector formed by angle A, C, B. Okay, so let's set up our formula. We're actually going to find this shaded region right in here. And our angle is 50, and that's 50 out of 360 times the area. Well, we have the radius. It's 5. So we're going to take pi times 5 squared. So let's reduce our fraction. 50 over 36 I'm going to reduce that to 536 times 25 pi. So I'm going to multiply 5 times 25, and that gives me 125 over 36 pi, and our units are inches squared. So that's how we would work that first one. That's very straightforward. We're just plugging into our formula. Okay, let's look at the second one here. Find the area of the sector formed by PQR. Okay, so another very straightforward problem. Okay, we have 160 degrees. Now notice that's almost half of the circle. So if we can figure out the area of the circle, well, the radius is 10, so the area would be what? 10 squared times pi or 100 pi. Well, this is almost half, isn't it? So half of that would be 50 pi. But it's, so it's going to be a little bit less than 50. So I want you to get some number sense there. Okay, so now let's set it up where we have 160 is our angle measure over 360 times the area, which we just figured out was 100 pi. Okay, let's clean that up. First, let's divide by 10, which cancels my zeros out. And I have 16 over 36. Huh, they're both divisible by 4, so I can reduce that to 4 over 9, 4 ninths times 100 pi, and that's going to give me 400 pi over 9, and there is my answer, okay? So that's how you work a forward problem, and I'm not even using my calculator at this point, but you can use your calculator to reduce your fractions if you need to. Now 